So, without any more introduction, let's make a game in 10 minutes. So, you're not on the wrong channel, you're still on the right channel, you're on my channel, and this was Brackies introducing the 10 minute challenge. And the challenge is to create a game completely from scratch within 10 minutes. Here you can see Brackies version of it. And you can clearly see he prepared himself, so he is always looking up some numbers in the uh, left lower corner and he's sometimes smiling. But still, it's a good game and he really uh, managed to do so. So, uh, he was creating Super Hexagon, which is a mobile game. And mobile games are so simple, um, they are very good to replicate them in 10 minutes. I will take the... Uh, mobile game stack where you have actually um, your goal is to stack some blocks higher and higher and the higher the stack is the more points you get and this is the overall goal of your game every overlapping space will be cut off and your space to stack will be um, smaller and smaller so without further ado let's start so hard, so hard. I don't know what I'm doing here. Q, Q, 100, 10, 100. Okay, let's go. Create material, material, materials. Duplicate this one, yes, thank you. So, uh, yeah, it's not really black. Um, game. game manager, whatever. What's happening? Oh. My text, okay, okay. Let's go to there. So let's go there. We go to this. Okay. Public. We need the current cube. And we need the left cube. That's all we got. All we need. We need the text. Good, now we need to animate the block anyhow. So, time equals. Pooh! Okay, this is uh, the time between. Um, it needs one animation, so. Okay, this is the first position. Need the time uh, to linearly linear uh, interpolate between the two. Um, so I can't speak. Level two. Left. The right. So we go left and forward depending on the level. Um, yeah. This is the distance we are tra traveling. The current cube transform position. So now here we go into linear and interpolate between those two. And this is plus two, plus one. And the time. Okay, out. No! Okay. Okay, new block, new block, it's not implemented, so. Um, if last cube. So this is when we reach a new level, but this is more importantly um, the thing we are doing when we start. So, last cube, current cube. 
going cube. So in here I'm using the last cube as a prefab for the next cube. Um, which is pretty good to white class code. Find faster material color uh, set. No, no. Hello. Oh, that's not the name in the shader. So this is the name in the shader of the color. If you're wondering why it's so uh, difficult, or why there's an underscore. So level divided by 100f, uh, and this is a hue value. Uh, I want to rotate the value like a rainbow. You see it later in the game, hopefully. So, yeah, uh, increase the level, of course. Camera, main. Um, okay, we need to position. And so the position uh, should be going to you, transform position plus new, rectus 3, whatever, 100, 100, 100. So, and the camera, main, out. Okay, um, now let's go back to the editor. No, 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 no. Nothing. Maybe just, just, just close it. Hopefully it works. Yes, I didn't check this. So, go! Compile. Yes, okay. Text and Kevin Cube is uh, cube. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, let's make this really big. Really big, 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 big. Okay, so yeah, red. Okay, and uh, zipper. Okay, so just the game over text. Okay, last cube. Um, we have to set the position. Scale X. Oh God. 
Oh god, this is the binary operator. This one. Yes! Okay. Um, done. I'm done. Here, here, here. The game's, the game's done. Done. Boom! Okay. And text. Index selected. Boop. Text. Text equals uh, your score plus level. Okay, done. Boop. Return. Okay. One. And there we go. Ah, it works. Wonderful. So we have. 30 seconds left. Maybe that's enough to to implement a, a restart or something like that because here it just stops. Um, yeah, I would just start a coroutine to restart it. Okay, let's try it. Up, but uh, hopefully it works. So, okay, your score is one, three, two, one. Yeah, it does. Okay, okay, you can't count the restart of the level in the 10 minutes, but basically, within 10 minutes, I wrote a game. Um, so, that's it, it's just one script. It, oh, it was really heavy. So, of course, I have to say, uh, I prepared myself for this challenge so I already checked if everything uh, is working this way um, I think it's okay because as you can see here um, uh, the center of the world is looking up to numbers right dot programming zero this with no rotation of quaternion dot identity um, and we also and want to therefore I prepared myself as well time time so basically time uh, I would say uh, you can't program a game in 10 minutes without even preparing yourself, having a game idea and so on. Um, so, but basically I started with an empty scene and after 10 minutes I got the game I wanted. So if you like the video, leave a like, subscribe to my channel. Um, let's see what I got for you in the future.